Good evening. Lloyd Minster, RCMP are asking for your help in finding a suspect accused of fraud from last week. Now the man is described as Middle Eastern, speaks Arabic and claimed to be in hard times needing food for his family. Now he met with a man in the Nelson Lumber parking lot on June 17th to sell a gold chain for $350. Now after a brief conversation, the victim agreed to buy the gold, but police say the man kept it and drove away with the money in a white Chrysler 300. Anyone with any information on his whereabouts is asked to call Lloyd Mr. RCMP at 306-825-6350. Well, there is a call out for donations as the Lloydminster Salvation Army Food Bank is struggling to keep up with demand. Officials say donations have slowed over the last few months. Christmas time in the winter is when what gets us through up until about June, and that's when we start to dwindle down and we have to make it through the summer months till the food drives start again in the fall. Now there's a lot more empty space on the shelves at the food bank these days that according to Shannon Weinberger, she says even though the organization is between major food drives, demand hasn't slowed, feeding 87 families, which is more than 250 people in May. The numbers are pretty big and it's a lot of food that goes out, which means we need some food coming in. Now at the moment, the Salvation Army is looking for basic donations, including pasta, pasta sauce, macaroni, and canned goods. You can drop off donations and bins at Safeway, Co-op, and the Superstore. Well, it's time again to deal with road construction. The annual street improvement program is set to begin in July, fixing up streets, sidewalks, and curbs around the city. Now the city hired a company to work on certain areas one at a time. The streets are selected by staff and residents who tell them of problem areas. You figure out how much money you have to spend and then you figure out how best to spend it based on everybody's input. It's based on um, budget, what we have to spend, and then urgencies. So of course something that was urgent last year that didn't get fixed, there might have been something else that's more urgent this year. This year the budget was $2 million, but the actual cost of the project came to $1.2 million. But there's always more need out there, so we will, we'll, uh, we'll keep the money tucked away or we'll spend it on some other existing projects that already need some extra funds. So it won't go to waste, but it might not be uh, spent in that category this year. Linnea Goodhand adds there is no complete deadline as to when construction will end. The construction schedule is still underway. For a full list of affected streets, you can go to Lloydminster.ca. Well, the rates at the Lloydminster Cemetery will be going up this fall. They haven't changed for more than six years. Councillor Chris McQuid says the current rates were low compared to other cities of similar size. Now, he says prices for residents and non-residents will be the same. It used to be that we had separate rates for residents and non-residents, and now we've uh, just got rid of that. Uh, so we have one standard rate, and uh, we used the former non-resident rate as the new base uh, for the new rate structure. He says costs are still lower than average. A plot license for an adult went up from just over $900 to $1,275. It is an increase, but uh, compared to some other cities, we're still uh, quite on the low end of the, of the rates. It looks about a 10% uh, increase for both interments and, uh, and for plots uh, across the board, uh, less for children. And again, if you would like some more information, all that can be found on the city's website. Well, it's time now for this week's edition of Pet Project. Today, we feature a one-and-a-half-year-old black cat named Kennedy, along with a one-and-a-half-year-old Maltese Pekingese cross named Bear. Both are looking for their forever homes. Here, Bear. Sit. Oh, good boy. Good boy. This is Bear. Bear is a one-and-a-half-year-old male Maltese Pekingese cross. He's neutered, current on vaccinations, and he's also microchipped. Bear is a wonderful little guy once you get to know him. He can be a little bit shy at first, but if you give him some time and let him approach you, you can be his new best friend. We can tell that Bear will be a very loyal little dog for his new owner. He loves to pick his favorite person and be attached to their hip. Bear likes to play fetch and he also likes to occupy himself with toys. He's such a cute little guy. Because Bear can be a little bit nervous in new situations and take some time to get comfortable, we suggest that Bear would do best in a home that doesn't have young children. If you're looking for a cute little guy to be your best friend, come on down to the SPCA to meet Bear.
This is Kennedy. Kennedy is a one and a half year old male black cat. He's neutered, current on vaccinations, and he'll be microchipped at the time of adoption. Kennedy is so full of personality. He is such a funny cat. He loves to interact and he'll even talk back and forth with you. He's also a big cuddle bug. He loves to rub his cheeks all over you and give you cute little headbutts. And sometimes he'll get so excited to have cuddles that he'll start to drool. Kennedy also likes to keep himself busy with cat toys and scratching posts and he loves to explore and he isn't shy around new people. If you're looking for a cat to play a key social role in your home, Kennedy is the cat for you. On Saturday, July 5th, the SPCA in conjunction with the Bordertown Hog Chapter will be hosting the Hogs for Dogs Motorcycle Rally. All events will take place at the Atco Electric parking lot. At 10 a.m. there will be a pancake brunch, a show and shine, animals available for adoption, and raffles and prizes. Then at 12.30 there will be a ride that will finish at the sticks. Come on down to the SPCA to pick up your pledge form.